What is it? Twenty-seven point zero two. Is that to the nearest tenth? No. So it's the same de deviation approximately. Is that twenty? Is that twenty-seven? Why is this twenty-seven? If we say approximately to the nearest tenth, that's a zero, right? Look to the digit to the right. What is that? Two. What does that mean? Leave that zero alone. Don't do not add one to it. The standard deviation is approximately twenty-seven. Meaning this. That Yao's D on average is 27 points away from her what? Center, her mean. On average, that difference is 27. Let's stop right there. We just computed the variance and the standard deviation. You guys okay with that? And I just described what this meant. Standard deviation, how far on average is Yao's D from her center? 27 points. That's how consistent she is from her center, from her center of her data. This is how you compute the standard deviation and the variance. Anybody have any questions as to how to compute it? You sure? Yes. Say that again? 185 is a median, yes. No, no, 185 is the mean, sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, because you're going with this idea. How far on average a data set is from its, its mean, its center. That's, this is what we're talking about. How far is the difference? You take the data set, subtract it from that 185. Every value subtract from 185. Anybody have any other question? Don't forget, though, square them, make them positive. Undo the squaring by taking square root. This is, this is the, the measure of consistency. They both are because one is the square root of another. This is used later on in later sections because it's more convenient and you have to use that. But standard deviation is how we're going to think of this consistency value in the beginning of the book, in the beginning of this course. So guess what I'm going to ask you guys to do? For fashionette. For fashionette, you are going to compute her variance and consequently her what? Standard deviation as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. We square these values, not these values, these values. 0 squared is 0, negative 15, that's negative 15 squared is 225. Positive 15, 15 squared is 225. You're squaring all of these values here. Your square root comes in after you add these values, because this is the sum of those values. After you add these values, you place it where? In the numerator, isn't that where it belongs here? n minus 1 is 5, 6 minus 1 is 5. Do the division, and then take the square root, and you get the standard deviation. But when you do the division, that's called the what? Variance good. Give you a few minutes to do that. We're going to take another short break. Are you guys ready for another short break? No? How long will it take you to do this? A few minutes, and you'll be back at 12. Okay. Because when I come back at 12, we have a few options I could talk about. How to, yeah, I'll talk about a few things. You ready? All right, let's begin here. Uh, what'd you guys get? Let's see. All of these values change. All right? <coughs> Let's see what you get. So, what is Fashionet's data scores? 185, 150, 
185. What else? 135 and 235. So we're going to still use 185. Why? Because that happens to be Fashionette's mean as well. So this is 0. Is that true? What is this? 220 minus 185. What's that? Zero, what else? And then 50. What do you do with all those values? You square them. What's negative 35 squared? What is it? What is it? 1225. 1,225? What's negative 50 squared? 2,500. 50 squared, another? 2,500. What do you do with this data? What do you do? You add them. What do you get? 5,000 plus? What's that going to be? 5,000 plus 2,450, 7,450, is that what you get? So where does this go? This is your what? Isn't that your numerator? 7,450, and what is, why is this 5, not 6? Well, you have 6 data scores again, 6 minus 1 is? So, variance will be, what's 7,450 divided by 5? What is it? 1,490. This is Fashionette's variance. What is Fashionette's standard deviation? Standard deviation is the square root of 1,490. What is that going to be? What is it? Approximately the answer to the nearest tenths. Is it 39? Okay, give me what you have. 38.6. Zero, zero. If you approximate this to the nearest tenths, the answer is what? 38. what? 0.6. So that Fashionette standard deviation is 38.6. Let's recall and note that Yao's D had a standard deviation of, what's her standard deviation? What is it? 27. Let's go back and think. What does this mean, right? What you're saying is this. They both have the same mean. They both they have the same center. But what you're saying is that, on average, Fashionette, Fashionette is what? 38.6 points away from her what? Her center on average. Well, Yaozdi is 27 points away from her center. They both have the same center. Who is the more consistent bowler? Who is it? Why would you say Yaozdi? Why is she the more consistent bowler? She has the what? The smallest, huh? Standard what? Deviation.